All right, we are back again with another video and today we're checking out something that I have no pretty knowledge of. I saw that this was coming out and heard some crazy things about it, some very degenerate things. And I'm really excited to see what it's actually all about because we have a lot of cool things coming out this season like Chain Soldier, this and all these other stuffs. But today we're gonna be checking out the first episode of the first season of Gushing Over Magical Girls. No idea, your guess is as good as mine. I'm excited. Leave a comment down below as to what are some of the things that you're looking forward to this anime season. Leave a like on the video and also subscribe. It would really help me if you subscribe to the channel. And besides all that, let's just hop right into this. Town is protected by a team of magical girls. This even sounds a lot like Chain Soldier. Aw, well look how cute they are. No way this could get any worse. Kinda almost looks like if Iron Mouse was turned into an anime, that's what she would look like. Sulfur Shield? Come on, it's almost like the anime version of the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, oh, so we're gonna, we're gonna high school DXD this, huh? We got this, come on. Oh, do we got a little bit of a Deku situation going on? The Trace Magica, or Magica, or whatever the ka. <laughs> Who the fuck and where the fuck did you come from? Me too, girl. <laughs> How do you know that? Is there any reason why I'm chosen or is this just like plot armor? Hey, yo, 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 hey, 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 We got full on booba. <laughs> we, we got full on boobs. Uh, all right then. Hey, uh, okay. What is that outfit? Have you all seen the video of the basis that has those? And that's her only coverings? Yeah. Yeah, it screams a different type of girl, one that I'm not proud to admit. Oh no, she got chosen for the villain side? That's great. Can I take it back? Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. They knew what they were doing with this show. I'm just gonna say it. I, I can, I've, I've seen five minutes and they knew what they were doing with this show. Man, all the shows this season have turned into some bops. Oh, is she gonna recruit some people over to her side? That's kind of dope. Oh my Jesus, mommy. What the fuck? God damn. <laughs> oh, so where's the reset button? I want to undo what I've done. <laughs> Just join the squad and don't worry about it. That, that doesn't help me. <laughs> God damn, calm down, little man. Why does she draw them without? This does give her a perfect opportunity to get closer to the magical girls so that she can fight them. You know them so well, you know their weaknesses. Interesting. Did you have people you looked up to. I mean, how bad could that be? We're doing this again? We're not gonna show all that. Okay, they just went right to it. That's not gonna do anything, sweetheart. A snitter. <laughs> just call it shitter at this point. Wait, what? You already found me? You on social media that much? You're saying? What about me? I'm about to get my ass kicked. Honestly, I would think it was a trick too if I'm in their shoes. You're not helping. You have a riding crop? Hey, yo, Dominance, yo, what? What the fuck? That thing is overpowered as shit. Hey, hey, yo. Hey, yo, what you about to do with her? Why are you grabbing her like that? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, because you've got a dominatrix cake. That's what you got. Of course there is. You all, that's what this show is? That's what this show is? <laughs> is it eh? <laughs> You're already halfway there, sweetheart. I don't even know how much of this I can show. She's having way too much fun with this. Just go ahead, commit to it if you're gonna do this. 
Stick out your butt. What do you want him to do? Are you trying to spank him? Hey, uh, no way. No shot. No shot. This is the most perverted Powerpuff Girls I've ever seen. Damn. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't resist at this point. Wouldn't she be able to turn them if she's hitting them with that thing, right? Oh, you're more than enjoying yourself. Yeah, you're the freakiest of them all. I can just tell. She just beat them like that? I mean, not even like with the crap. I'm just saying she just won the fight. She's a sadist? Just, just, wow. It was, it was all a dream. Yeah, copium. Don't worry about it. Immediately accepts it. Nope, that's a talking stuffed animal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're just a little high from yesterday. Not enough sleep. You know how it goes. Oh, you love magical girls. You love them way too much. Did they not realize that that's you? Yeah, your relationship with flowers has hit a whole different level. Ooh, that ass is still hurt, huh? Oh, we're getting this too? What in the? You're in the classroom. What the fuck are you all doing? At least go to the gym or something. Yeah, they knew what they were doing with the show. I'd say, yeah. What? Why did you grab her ass to begin with? Yeah, they're speaking from practical experience. Oh, I was wondering why that didn't happen. Wait, how can she still know you all, but you all can't tell who she is? Sure, keep telling yourself that, sure. When the fuck are you gonna do with all those? Monsters don't wait for school. Haven't you watched My Hero? Oh, they practiced that for sure. They just, they knew what they were doing. They, they knew what they were fucking doing. God damn, they aren't stopping from anything, Jesus. She's not even the one controlling these monsters. <laughs> fly? She can fly? You better get your ass moving or that photo's going live. Damn. Whoa, the degeneracy is just flowing out. Who are you exactly? Oh, so I think I saw in the OP. So there's going to be like a light version of you as well. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> What's it going to turn into? Oh, damn. Spider mannequins. Oh, no. Oh, no. My ass still hurts from yesterday. Oh, this is exactly like high school DXD. This is exactly like High School DxD. Don't ask me why I watch that. Yeah, knowing and doing are two different things. Ugh. And the sadist ability activates. Oh, this is gonna get so bad so fast. Who would have thought this season we were gonna get so much degeneracy? All right, hey, calm down. Don't look at the dogs. Don't look at the fucking dogs. Kink unlocked. That is the look of Satan. I swear, Jesus. <laughs> Uh-oh. Time to fight. You all tickle me to death, you bitch. <laughs> no, 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 no. Calm down. Don't you dare. You're like the perverted version of Riku, or what's his name? Riku? Roku? I don't even remember. The fucking Shimi Shinigami from <laughs> Death Note. I can't even think straight. Oh man. This is a cute little ending. It's just such a big contrast between the cuteness of these characters and then the absolute degeneracy they're getting put through. Magia Baser. Oh God. All right, so that was the first episode of Gushing Over Magical Girls. I am not gonna lie to you all. I did not expect it to go that degenerate that fast, but that was actually a lot of fun. If you are fans of High School DxD and those sort of etchy shows, or even Chain Soldier that's also coming out this season, this is the perfect show for you. I am very interested to keep watching because I just wanna see the crazy scenarios that they're gonna think up next. It seems like from the OP that there's gonna be three characters on the villain sides and three characters of the magic girl side, the 
hero side. So I'm really interested to see those transformations, to see all the crazy nonsense that's gonna happen. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. All right, we are back again with another video and today we are checking out episode two of season one of Gushing Over Magical Girls. You all have shown absolutely so much love on the last video. I could not believe it. You guys are incredible. Thank you all so, so much for watching, subscribing, leaving likes, comments, so on and so forth. Let's keep it up with this video. I'm super excited to watch what's gonna happen next. Honestly, I have no idea where the show is going. I just think it's gonna probably get a little bit more degenerate, a little bit more down bad as we get farther and farther along into it. I still think that we're gonna have more people join the villainess side and not the hero side. So I'm interested to see that power balance. I wonder if she's ever gonna get the receiving end of it as being the villain because she also likes the girl. So I'm sure she wouldn't mind having that. I don't really know. You guys have been leaving some amazing ideas down below, but I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. And let's just hop right into this. This is how we're starting the episode? They didn't even give us like two seconds. Like even like even a moment. <laughs> Am I surprised? Absolutely not. Well, Patreon's gonna have a field day with this reaction. Yeah, I used to have those daydreams in school too. Yeah, don't worry about it, prop. Got you. Wasn't thinking about anything else. Aw, you're breaking up the three Powerpuff Girls? How can you even do that? Yeah, you gotta get your heads out of the clouds and that ass. This will never stop freaking me out that they don't know that that's her. The one person you don't actually want to talk to is always the one that wants to talk to you. Surprised we didn't get a cut to her just going, <laughs> There's so many shows this season with such bops for openers, and this is no exception. When are we gonna get the other villains of this show? I need it. God, I keep forgetting that she's in this show. Who is that nun? Who is she? I'm asking for purely research purposes. Yeah, it's not the only thing she'll be helping out with. And then this one, on the other hand, <laughs> this one we don't even wanna talk to. Oh, that's cute. Does it make you feel bad? A little something. Ah, that's where you should go. Head for the shrine, repent. They always tell you to go to church, go to confession, that sort of thing. Not gonna happen. Oh yeah, where is that thing? We haven't seen that all episode. Those boobs. What are the boobs doing on the ground? No, don't look at it. Don't even look at it, just keep moving on. Oh no. Is she gonna get a BDSM kink? Of course, of course she, of course she is. She's like, well, let me think of all the possibilities I can find in here. Yeah, uh-huh. Just move on, keep moving. Yeah, not surprised. What is there just, that has to be that little fucker. That little fucker is leaving a trail of those magazines behind? No shot. You know how they did it in E.T. with the little Reese pieces? You know how complicated those ropes would be to tie up people though? Damn, girl, what are you looking at? Yeah, you've already been kind of doing that. I knew, I knew you were the one dropping those books. I knew it was. God damn, where have you been hiding? I was like, get your powers going too? Damn, she's really that down bad. I don't know, she's by herself over here, fuck. He's definitely gonna get tied up. I knew it. I knew, I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen. Her lust made her powers burst out. <laughs> she really is just that down bad. Yeah, you picked the worst time to find her alone. Wait, where's your riding crop? Ooh, got a mask? What did the mask do? Oh, uh, we started the bondage. Of course, of course we did. Yeah, but can you pass this opportunity up? I don't think so. Uh-huh, uh-huh, hang on. Come on, bring it on back now. You already know, you wanna use this rope I'm throwing. There's no showing, you can't see. It's actually kind of cool, like song and dance sort of animation here. Do I think this show needed the budget it got? Probably not. Am I happy that it did get that budget? Absolutely. <laughs> In reality. <laughs> oh no. Hey, yo, calm down with that whip. Oh, there's no stopping this train. Hey, yo! Is... 
She's just accepting this. I'm surprised she's not like trying to grab her fingers, break her arm or something. Maybe this girl's kind of into it too. Oh boy. What the fuck? When did those come off? Oh, okay. It's just her imagination. God. Again, why wouldn't she just bite her finger off? Wonder what's going to happen when they eventually figure out that who she is. How bad is that going to be? Hey, yo, what am I watching? It's no holds bar at this point. I'm surprised she didn't actually like tie her up, tie her up. That's so funny. If this happens every time, like they literally never ever win against her. She always makes them end up in that sort of position. She's not saying no. I'm just saying. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, is she okay? Okay is a big stretch. She is so content, god damn. Should she be doing that? She literally has a phone case of one of them, of one of the girls. Phantom Dom, ooh, that's nice. I kind of like that one. What do you mean kind of, but not really? Aw, that's kind of sad. That can't be the whole story. Damn, what a sad sentiment. Jesus. There's no way that's all. There's no shot. I knew it. I knew it, you motherfucker. I knew that that couldn't be true. I would say that they're being figurative, but no, literally, she's probably kicking your butts. All right, so how do you get rid of that? She's into it. God damn it. She is, she is into it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, no. She's more than fine. Oh, are each of them going to get targeted one by one by one? She wants to be targeted. What is that? God damn, what is that thing? Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> this is full on high school DXD. No, they're gonna burn her? Yeah, that's gonna hurt like a bitch. I don't, I don't even know what I can show anymore. Oh, that's not the only thing she's got loose. Again, why was she smiling at the start? Oh, flower guy, how are you doing? It's been a little while. Damn, what the f- That's why she lured her out here by herself. She wanted to learn some things. She got a pair of brass knuckles, the fuck? No, I won't keep this a secret. Well, it's kind of the Uno reverse. Ooh, fuck, direct hit. Wait, was that through her? Oh, nice. She made some copies of herself. Oh, she actually come up with it? Come on, let's hear it. In the in the heat of battle. Bazer. Magia. Oh, that's why that's the name of this episode. Magia Bazer. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need to warn me the next time one of those girls has a pair of brass knuckles that I don't know about. Oh, she's excited. God damn, everybody's just happy and excited and smiling. God. Oh, is that one of the new villains? Hold up, is that one of the new villains? I'm still so interested to see all the stuff that's gonna happen. The explosive leopard, ooh. All right, so that was episode two of season one of Gushing Over Magical Girls. So many interesting things happening in this one. First of all, she's starting to get into some BDSM stuff, which is only going to get worse in this show, which I'm absolutely sure of. But the funny thing was is that the magical girl that was targeted actually seemed to kind of like it. I don't really know their names yet, but it was the blue one. She's starting to seem like she's kind of liking it. 
It's not as much of a, a chore for her anymore. And then the fact that the gold one literally lured her out there by herself to try to figure out exactly how powerful she is. We finally got the big name reveal, Magia Bazer. I really, really like that name. It's really interesting, different, kind of creative. But then we're figuring out that there's probably one of the villains that has actually joined her side that was just there as they teleported away. Really interested to see how those are gonna progress. I can't wait to see how this whole show is going to progress. Once again, a massive thank you to everyone that showed support and love on the last video. All right, we are back again with another video. And today we are checking out episode three of season one of Gushing Over Magical Girls absolute insanity that we've had in the first couple of episodes. Once again, another massive shout out to all of you showing such amazing support and love on these videos, leaving likes, comments, the whole nine yards. Let's keep it up with this one. I'm so excited to see where we're gonna go on this adventure, this incredibly, very, very down badly etchy adventure. It's an amazing time, a fun time. I have no idea what to expect. I think we're about to get one of the other additions to the villain side. We've got the three magical girls. We've got Magia Bazer on our side, and I think we're getting introduced to the first one today. I'm super excited to see where this goes. I hope you guys are as well. Leave a comment down below of what's your favorite moment so far from the series. I want to read all of those. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and let's just hop right into this. Oh, it's not her that needs to be locking the door. It's every one of those magical girls that needs to be locking their doors to their bedrooms. <laughs> see, what's even the point of locking any door? They can just get in whenever they want. What the fuck is that? Where are we? Headquarters? Okay, first of all, that's really cool. Second of all, why are all those little rooms just floating? Older members? There's gonna be a bunch more? We're not only getting new ones, but we have previous ones? My mind can't handle all the etchy. <laughs> yes. Who are you? Um, who the fuck are you? Aw, so do we have to call her senpai? Hey, yo, what? What the fuck? What did you just put in my hand? She just blew me up! That's what you do in a Call of Duty lobby. <laughs> the explosive leopard. Yeah, I just got my ass bombarded. But I didn't get beat. My candle figure got beat. Okay, am I any better than you? Because you literally... Wait, hold up a second. Hold up a second. Wait a second. Whoa, calm down! What was that angle? I'll never be able to look at this the same again. Oh, God. Fuck me. She can just do that? She's got that many guns on deck? Yeah. Oh, I guess not. Well, this is the first time that she's ever gotten her ass kicked. I, I don't, I don't even know. What, what am I watching? She's like, oh no, please don't do it to me. Oh God, this is terrible. What the fuck? Cows? What cows are you talking about? You're a yandere, aren't you? What would happen if she slaps her with the riding crop? Wouldn't it turn her into something? There's something, oh, very nice. And the torturer becomes the tortured. And why is that? Does she get power from the moon? God damn it, we've got Nagatoro all over again. She's like, oh, you're, you're a real freak. Okay, all right, well, <laughs> I'm just gonna see myself out. Don't worry about it. Not the feet again, god damn. <laughs> She's like, yeah, that's coming for me. <laughs> Is it tickle? Is it hurt? Do you smell fried fish? That's Miss fucking Lunatic to you. If you're looking for a sadist, you found one. Aw, fried kink. Really fried kink. They knew what they were doing with this show. Yeah, it's not explosive leopard, it's fried leopard. You think I'm cute? Oh, I'm sorry. You think I'm skinny? <laughs> a yo. Wait, wait, no, 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 mommy. <laughs> yep, you're coming to join the squad. Oh, she's obsessed. She's absolutely head over heels or, or tits over heels. Like, I hate life. Oh God. Why can't I just be spanking people? 
Never mind, she's perfectly fine. <laughs> that will never get old, the fact that they don't realize that it's her who's been kicking their ass. No way, she's already made it to the school? Damn. I found you already. I'm sure that's not the only thing that you want to transfer into. Don't question it. Just, just go with it. She has them as her wallpaper? My God, I can't wait until she like gets a photo of them as she's abusing them. Smacking that ass. That's going to be the new wallpaper. That's going to be the phone case. Our first date? Eto? Oh, I, I know you all want to get to know each other. How bad do you want to get to know each other? And your body- Hey, what now? Stop saying snitter, it's shitter. <laughs> God, I'm so hungry right now. That food looks so good. Ah, I mean, I wouldn't say that's the only reason she eats lunch alone. It's not the only bun she can be stuffing in her mouth at some point or another. Hey, yo! Yeah, y'all are gonna be like this for the rest of your life. She's even buying the merch? My God, girl, you have full access to the full show. Oh, she's gonna be the jealous type, huh? Eh, I've been there, I feel you. But are we really the bad guys? We're given, you know, justice. That's what I imagine all girls are thinking when they're posting stuff like that. Give me the light. <laughs> <laughs> She's jealous, that's why she hates them? That's funny. You mean a bad girl. What the fuck? Friendo? She's commando! <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> Didn't need any convincing whatsoever. What are you in it for? Just to fuck up the Trace Magia? In public? Just in public, sure. Oh yeah, that's a good question. How did she do that? She's reckless and she doesn't even know how to use her powers. This'll go great. I mean, come on. I want to see a double battle of them between them and Trace Magia. Uh, speaking of which, I know those stilettos. Goons? Who are you calling a goon? <laughs> She's a people pleaser. Ara, ara, there's only one riding crop for the two of us. She about to get her ass clapped. <laughs> Oh, let's not talk about the fact that I know you over there are actually kind of enjoying this with her. It's like, oh no, it's just you and me. <laughs> when did you get a barrier shield? <laughs> I knew she was a younger head ass. Oh, she's funny. But do you actually want to? What will she do to me? Oh no, don't turn on the music. <laughs> I swear, she, at some point, she's just gonna bend over. That's what's gonna happen. No, you got evil up here, girl. And down there. Oh, no. Darn. She is so into s and it's not even funny. It's almost like she lost interest. Oh, then she got right back on track. Girl, girl, girl. Goddamn. Yes! What do you think? Yes! Oh, damn! Right in the titty? God damn! I don't know. How bad does that hurt? Y'all let me know down in the comments. Over and over again, what'd they do to you? You gotta respect the titty. Don't slap the titty. What in the sh world shot did I just see? God damn! She is just way too into this. <laughs> oh, uh, how you doing up there, leopard? Doing all right? Need some help? Shut the fuck up. No, it's your turn to blow your <laughs> Oh wait, did she hit the doll? That's genius. Oh, that's such a good idea. That wasn't a shadow clone. I think she slapped it. 
<laughs> I don't know. She's having a fun time. <laughs> I'm gonna love her character. Oh no, don't shoot her in the heart. <laughs> you know exactly what she's talking about. And I love Hotel. Hey, we go from this step to that. No, you're not. Like a love hotel. It's a love hotel. Of course it is. God damn it. <laughs> All right, so that was episode three of season one of Gushing Over Magical Girls. I had another fantastic time with that. I am absolutely in love with the explosive leopard character. There's a little bit of yandere mixed in there. There's a little bit of just a... Uh, kind of sassy, bad mouth and cross mouth. I don't even know how to describe it. Just so many fun little emotions in her character. I love the moments when she gets so pissed off at the Trace Magia. She's like, fuck these girls, I hate them. I wanna make sure that I can blow off their faces and all this different shit. Such a good introduction to her character. She literally walks up, gives her a grenade and says, here you go. And then gets her ass kicked and immediately is down bad. Love that so, so much. She is so funny. Such a good addition to the team. Really like it that now the uh, Trace Magia starting to fight back they're figuring out how to counter them still want to know about the blue one because she obviously is into everything that's happening with her and magia baser that is very very interesting as well i know we have to get introduced to at least one more of the villain side of the girls and then apparently other members as well so i can't wait to watch all that i hope that you guys have been enjoying once again another massive shout out and thank you to all of y'all showing love and support on these videos all right we are back again with another video and today we are checking out gushing over magical girls episode four of season one I am so excited to be watching this again. You guys have been showing so much love on this series and I am absolutely here for it because this show is so much fun. There's so much edginess. There's so much craziness. There's actually kind of an interesting story, dynamic, power play going on. I have to admit, last episode, I was introduced to my new favorite character, Kiwi. Oh my good Lord. She just has way, way too much craziness, but also her one-liners just absolutely kill me. And I mean, like actually burst out laughing on the floor, literally dying on the inside. Side. I'm super excited to meet the final one of the villain side. We still have the maid character, nurse character. I'm not sure that supposedly is going to be in it partially. And we've also got the light side version of the little black creature of the night thing that we also don't know. A lot to still be discussed. I hope that you guys are excited. Let's shoot for a light goal on this video because we have just absolutely been killing it recently. Let's shoot for 500 likes in the first week. I think we can hit it. So also, if you've not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications if you want more of gushing over magical girls. I love you all so, so much. Leave a comment down below of what's your favorite moment so far. And let's just hop right into this. We're kicking it off with this. What is happening? Uh, 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 <laughs> what, what am I hearing? What is happening? Give me a minute. I gotta smoke a cigarette first. <laughs> are, are you all enjoying yourselves? Are you having a fun time? From your position, it don't look like that, sweetheart. Wait, why are you leaving? You have the clear advantage. <laughs> just that look, just that pose right there. It just sums it all up. Finish what you started. Are you all into this? Are all three of you into this? How does she go from that to being like, I'm going to blow your fucking face off? Oh, why? Let's go have some fun. Oh, oh. You've been focusing too much on these and not enough on this. Then what? Oh, no, what? Not, do not go for the otaku collection. Oh God, that is gonna just strike the living hell in somebody. If someone told me, oh yeah, we're gonna say goodbye to all your manga, I would be fucked. Wait a sec, you're literally teasing me. You're teasing me without even knowing it. Come and get me magic. She's literally teasing me. What the fuck? <laughs> I literally would crap my pants if she just bends over. Come and get it, sweetheart. Right here. Not you two. I don't need your attention. I have to study. <laughs> She's a woman of culture. Oh no, she definitely has already stumbled upon those things. She's not good at hiding things. How are you convinced that easily? God damn it. 
It's like, you forced me to do this. You basically bent over in front of me. Wait, what are you gonna use those with? Wait, hold up, those are scissors. What are you do- Hey, ah, oh, what are you using those for? What the fuck? There's children around. You had this coming. You had this coming. Why are you all still here watching? Oh, good God. <laughs> that is the look of pain right there. Absolute just horror. You need to study. You don't need to study her. Oh my God. You're not even doing anything. You're just, <laughs> you're not. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what? I feel your pain. Not the same scenario, but I get distracted doing stuff that I should be doing all the time. Try to edit. I'm reading something else. Trying to play chess. End up getting distracted by the TV. Wait, unless you can hide all my magical girl stuff. Well, yeah, it's true. You do make a good point, so. <laughs> you know me too well. Why are you all still? She never left? Are you kidding me? What a stubborn girl. No, no. Needs to be spanked into her. <laughs> you didn't see this coming! You know what the definition of insanity is? I can spell it out for you if you need it. <laughs> she put pasties on. <laughs> like that actually does anything for her. But you basically are. What about your ass? I'm sure you didn't cover that up. Uh-huh, keep telling yourself that. Watch out for what? That's what she thinks is gonna cover up her ass? A little tiny heart? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> You've got to calm down. <laughs> you haven't seen nothing yet, kids. <laughs> How did we get here? Yeah, your pasties are gone. Are you jealous? Jesus, wait a second. <laughs> she got cocky. That's actually a good point. No, I don't think she's trying to defeat you. I think she's just trying to mess with you and to do other stuff to you. <laughs> Not the floating pasty in the wind. <laughs> then why don't you help me? Just like, let me cheat or something. I feel like she would have just done it for free though. Some people would call that blue ball. What'd you get? Egg sandwich? Something? A four fruit? What's wrong with that? Do you have to use chopsticks? Just be Western for a day. How do you know that? Yeah. This is just getting way too meta. The fact that they don't know it's her, she knows it's them, and now she's gonna have lunch with them like nothing's wrong? Wow. Okay, Kiwi, you jealous much? <laughs> Dog food? Uh-oh, is it starting to set in for her just a little bit? <laughs> you know, we never actually established. Did they ever go to that love hotel? <laughs> You're poking the bear. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh, the cap. Huff some copium some more. Aw, they're starting to get a photo shoot. Okay, uh, Kuroko-chan, you're not looking like one of the happiest magical girls right now. <laughs> oh, imagine the photo shoot. God, if she took over this place and like turned the camera into something. Oh, <gasps> it's the white one. Okay, we finally got introduced to it. Oh my goodness. Okay, what do you do? <laughs> I love it when they cuss like that. <laughs> you even have a heart as a tail. God, how pure are you? Other? Whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up two steps. Other magical girls? You mean there are more combos to be had? Knowing Magia though, she can get inside any way, shape, or form she wants to. Wait, come back to us? What do you mean come back to us? You mean that that one used to be a part of your team? I thought she was just like the polar opposite, just the evil. What's she hit? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Uh, yeah, batting down the hatches. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Actually, I think that they should because this is way more fun. <laughs> You're my shitless. <laughs> 
Oh, fine. Okay, calm down. Kiwi, Kiwi. Stop, 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 stop. Let's talk about this. <laughs> That's a lot of grenades. Jesus. Oh, and you hit them too? What's it gonna happen? Uh oh. Oh, they're bug grenades. Oh, that was smart. Oh, Lord. Oh, she's learning. Okay, I get you. Wait, what was the point of that? <laughs> Don't say that on YouTube. <laughs> Seems like your force field's not gonna hold up forever. <laughs> I love her so much. Oh boy, something just cracked through. Oh shit! Damn! You turned her into a pancake! Oh, I didn't know that the blue one had a sword. She's like, oh, now it's getting fun. Do you do smile? She's been smiling this whole time. Yeah, what about you? This good for you too? Oh, Jesus! You need to calm down. <laughs> of course. Instantly taken. She doesn't do a thing. Oh, it looks like you guys put up more of a fight this time. No, she wanted it. 1,000%. It's the least she can do after immediately getting tied up. Aw, oh, man. Damn. I didn't even read that before. This top... Shelf fetish? Nero, Nero Alice in Wonderland? Nero Alice? What is a Nero Alice? All right, so that was season one, episode four of Gushing Over Magical Girls. Just absolute insanity. More fun, more things that I'm really starting to enjoy. It seems like the Magical Girls are starting to have a comeback. They're starting to be able to fight back a little bit more, which I think is a good plot progression for the story because they can't just always lose every single time. And now we finally have the introduction to the light side version of the little black creature. I think it's Vats is its name. Very interesting. I want to know more about about that dynamic and also found out that there's not only those three magical girls but there's a whole slew of them somewhere because that white little creature is also taking care of more magical girls so many opportunities so many possibilities and i'm just so interested to see what's gonna happen when are we gonna get introduced to the third villain character because i know that's coming at some point i think we're gonna have more characters be introduced on the side i am loving this dynamic so far kiwi continuing to be my favorite character the blue magical girl is still getting tied up in every situation seems like Sulfur is becoming kind of like the brute, the badassness of the entire magical girl group, not taking that shit anymore, is trying to fight back. And I do like that. That's really interesting. And then, of course, Magic Bazer just being her amazing, etchy self as she always is. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. All right, we are back again with another video. And today we are checking out season one, episode five of Gushing Over Magical Girls. If you already know, you know I absolutely love this series. It's very etchy, it's very funny, it's got a lot of interesting plot points to it. I'm really interested to see if we're gonna finally figure out who the third evil girl is. I think we are. It's called Narrow Alice in Wonderland. I think this is the third one of the villain side of the girls. I may be wrong, but I'm super excited. Also, I had to put out a clarification because I was totally in the wrong, totally mistaking this the whole time. Apparently, both of them, both sides, the villain and good side, can't actually see each other while they're at school. So I was under the impression the entire time that Magia Baser knew that that was the actual Magia girls. Apparently, she cannot. Neither can Keith. We, it's very very funny that they haven't been able to figure that out so far but i think the yellow one of the magical girls i can't remember her name is starting to put two and two together because she's starting to give those little eye looks at school when they're not actually in uniform so i'm interested to see who's going to figure that out first we got introduced to the white version of the little black mascot character the last time also figured out that the black mascot character was actually a part of the good side at one point but now is evil so much is happening i hope that you guys have been enjoying this once again we're going to shoot for another like goal let's shoot for 300 likes in the first week that this video goes live you guys have been showing mad support on this series and i so 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 appreciate it also make sure that you subscribe to the channel turn on those post notifications and if you want the full uncut length reaction because this really does go that hard head on over to patreon.com slash movies in depth where you can see the entire episode in its entirety it's a good time head on over there and for the love of god let's just hop right into this Oh, we're heading into the back alleys to kick off the show? Oh, you already know what that probably means. Aw, little kitten. Not a big cat person, but I am a kitten person. Isn't that kind of a French-looking outfit? I know Magia Baser is a French name. Do they have a lot of French inspiration in the show? Oh, another little black kitten. All right, I think we finally got introduced to the final one. Let's see what happens. No, after school, bring Lever to see you there. I mean, we could not and say that we did. Nothing good. Ever. Accurate. 
I'll never get over the fact that this is how they act in their school uniforms in their normal day to day. And then you see how they act when they actually get a riding crop. Uh, why is she holding you? Yeah, que pasa? Oh, just like that? We're we, we not going to get a backstory or any sort of thing? In, in, in private, not with her. <laughs> How can I believe anything that you say? Honestly, if I was her, I'd do the same thing. That thing looks really cute. <laughs> Why? Why would you just ask? She just seems like she wants a stuffed animal. That is not true. If Magia acted cute on you, if Utena acted cute on you, nah, you'd be done. I mean, to find socially awkward or just shock. She's like, no, no, thank you. Wait, Korosu's just gonna fight them by herself? How overpowered is she? I mean, I, she's just trying to be a good, like, senpai. Now, why is her outfit so cute? And then the other two are just wild. It's almost like she's, like, a villain in disguise. <laughs> you think everyone's cute. I get it. I get it now. She's cute because she looks like Alice in Wonderland. That's why they call it Narrowless and Al uh, Yeah, okay, I get it. Kiwi, you're just desperate for attention, and I love it. She is so adorable, though. She just wants the stuffed animal. I've been doing the same thing. The fuck? Is that supposed to be the purple cat from Alice in Wonderland? Yeah, I wouldn't get that close to it if I were you, but sure, why not? You deserve whatever's coming to you. Why would you follow it? Oh no, we were tricked. Yeah, she's right. She's absolutely right. Hey, yo. When did you get so big? Apparently it had a growth spurt. Oh my god. Oh, that's frightening. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I would be in my worst nightmare. That did nothing. It was a tickle. What's wrong with them? Don't worry, honey. I'll keep you safe. When did this turn into a gender bend thing? Sulfur. That's her name. Huh? What are you, a little happy family now? Oh, no, 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 no. I knew that was coming. I, I could just I could just see it coming a mile away. Milkies. <laughs> how, do, how do we get here? How do we get here? And she just accepts it every single time. Honestly, I'm surprised she's not on the villain side. What the fuck? How did they end up there? What the fuck? When are they going to wake up? When? Oh. <gasps> Oh, that's fucked up. She has a dollhouse that's possessed? It does sound pretty OP. What the, what happened? <laughs> Suck it, losers! Okay, so she has a handicap. Oh, look at the cute little doll. She's always been a plushy person. You know what that means. Get out the riding crop. It's time for Kiwi to go pull out some grenades from where I couldn't tell you. That's all the same thing. She's into what happens at hotels. <laughs> oh God, that gives me such PTSD from when I was a kid. I was never allowed to invite myself over to places. Ooh, I hate to see it when the parents are never there. Damn, she's really played those toys out. What? Oh, oh shit. At least she's a mature eight, nine, ten. I can't tell how old she is. If there's a glass box around it, maybe we shouldn't take the glass box off. Have you ever seen Annabelle? There was a glass box. Of course it's special. 
She's like, you're getting more amazing by the second. Told you. Oh, she's already entrusting her favorite doll to her. That's so sweet. Oh, thing looks basically brand new. Oh, if I didn't sleep, I would be dead to the world. Oh, but look at the price she had to pay to make this happen. God damn, you hacking up along? Girl, what did you do to yourself? Oh, can she put her in her dollhouse and make her feel better? Now, wait a goddamn second. I know that's her, but what the fuck is that her? Can she just put any version of herself into that little box? What is that music happening in the background? Wait a second, you're sick. Well, I mean, you're sick up here too, but you're sick here too. Where are you going with that stethoscope? Where the hell are you going with that stethoscope? I'm pretty sure doctors aren't supposed to do that. Just, just a little hunch. Oh, they're really not supposed to do that. At this point, literally not so, what are you doing with that? That doesn't look like it goes in skin. Yeah, you are. <laughs> not the evil grin to top it off, fuck me. Wait, can she just heal people in there too? That's crazy. Now, Kiwi, is there anything that you can actually do for me outside of like, you know, just hand me a grenade? Oh God, the possibilities are endless. And she's devious too? No! <laughs> you go to horny jail. <laughs> but nah, I got plenty of playthings now. You could say that. All right, so that was season one, episode five of Gushing Over Magical Girls. We finally got introduced to the final villain side character with Alice. I'm really, really liking it. I really like her character. She has a lot of possibilities. Interesting that they went the kid route because then in the dream, it's kind of reminded me a little bit of the 100 Girlfriends I Really, Really Love You and the scientist character, the little one that also can transform into the bigger one because she has an overpowered ability. The fact that she can control anybody that enters inside of her play box as dolls basically the possibilities are endless and the whole scene with the medical examining and this and that blah, she apparently can also heal anybody that she puts in there as well again overpowered she does have a little bit of a handicap with the fact that she gets tired quicker than either the other two Atena or Kiwi so that's interesting but I'm so excited to see what she's going to be able to do against the magical girls that's going to be really fun to see I love having all the characters pretty much established now I think we're going to still have maybe a few side characters but the main ones are here I love them all i hope that you guys have been enjoying this series so far all right we are back again with another video and today we are checking out gushing over magical girls season one episode six i can't believe we're already six episodes deep into this but you guys have been showing absolutely mad love on the series we're shooting for another light goal today we're shooting for 300 likes in the first week i think we can hit it i'm super excited to see where the story's going to go from here because we finally have both sides for the good side and the evil side we have three and three and now we have this battle that's going to start taking place between the groups i don't know if there's any more side characters that are going to be introduced judging by the op there seems to be but we're not going to see a ton of them so i'm just interested to see where the story is going to progress they still don't know each other in real life they're still fighting each other pretty much every single day it seems like i'm excited i hope that you guys are too make sure that you leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so every single week that a new episode comes out for gushing you can head on over here and it'll be on anime and depth also check out my patreon if you want the full uncut uncensored reaction because trust me there's so much that has to be cut out of these head over there it's a good time and let's just hop right into this wait why is she by herself oh does she want to be playing with more kids no she said fuck it i just want to hang out with a cat this is still so weird that they just don't realize that this is who they are in real life don't tell me that they're actually going to become friends in real life and not realize that they're on opposite sides of the battle I mean, I prefer to play with you as a doll, but sure. Damn, here we go. How do you always get stuck? You literally always get stuck. What the fuck? Acid clothes? Acid? I mean, I'm not complaining, but damn. Not like it's gonna stop us. This fucking, I love Kiwi so much. Oh, sure. Don't look at your friends that just got fucking stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So you want to fucking fight? Maybe you should put on some pants before you try to have this argument. Or, or just underwear. Yeah, that's fair to say. She is kind of the mother character of the three. I hate mushrooms. I don't know if it's just me, but I think mushrooms have a terrible texture. Yeah, that, 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 that's me. How am I supposed to do anything when I'm just running off mushrooms? Ooh. Was that your back? <laughs> I love that even though they don't know it's them, they still fucking fight in real life. It's like, we can't be mad at you, but you're annoying. Why are you so nice to us? Maybe she just has mommy issues. You know, most people have daddy, other side of the aisle. Didn't take long. She really is too good of a person, I swear. Time for your milkies, hang on. Aw, they're gonna become fast friends and then she's gonna manipulate her inside of her dollhouse later on. But mom, I'm ready to play! Has the puppet strings coming out. Damn, that is a badass look. A grocery store clerk that looks like a punk rocker. Love it. Stop buying mushrooms, hell no. Oh no, no, I, I see where this is going already. No, no, tell me she's able to go to the bathroom. Is, is it gonna click for you now? What? Is it just floating? Oh, you're back too. Nah, eh. <laughs> I was right. She immediately takes her to the dollhouse. Does she not remember? Oh God, is she a baby? What the fuck? She can even change their age while they're in there? Oh, she's so cute. Oh, poor thing. She wants to play mother. You've got to be kidding me. How do you do takoyaki without the taco? What even is taco? Oh, yeah, we didn't have a backstory on how the magical girls came to be. I wondered if we were going to get that or not. The definition of I'm going to kill her with kindness. With me? Oh, stop. Yeah, figured that was going to happen at some point. <laughs> I'm conflicted. I don't know how to feel about this. Like, because you can tell that Nero Alice is just wanting to play as a mother here. But this is also, they still don't know who they are. It's just weird. This is a weird relationship. But she's also manipulating how old she is. That's crazy. Okay, so they're obviously both magical girls at this point, And they're going to save her. Got it. Oh, she said, fuck no. I don't need y'all's help. Hey, God damn with a brick. They just look at each other. She's perfect for the crew. I love her. Another one. She's just the perfect opposite for Kiwi. Uh, what the fuck happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. Was she not a baby this whole time? It was just up in her head. Oh, good Lord. Where do you think they went? I mean, everybody's senior, you know what at this point. She was having fun playing mom. Damn, look at her eyes though, that's creepy as shit. She's like, you bore me now. What the fuck is happening? I knew she had mommy issues, but not that bad. No, what is that? Alice, Alice, we gotta calm down. We gotta calm the fuck down. I, I, I don't even know where to fucking begin with this. No, I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. You got spunk. Oh, look at that eternal optimism. God damn it. <laughs> it's that fuck sulfur. Honestly, that's me talking to my YouTube haters. I don't talk that much, you bitch. I don't want to know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to know. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even want to look at it. I thought you already went to the bathroom. Do you have to go again? No, 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 no. 
What, is she gonna push her like a whoopee cushion? <laughs> of, of course, they show a flower. A fucking flower. Well, you're not, you're not wearing pants, so. Alice can really just fuck with someone's mental state completely. Oh, did she just leave her pantless? No! <laughs> She's bored with her now. <laughs> what a smug little grin. <laughs> it's like, I'm jealous. You don't want to know. Say what? Ew, why? Why are you obsessed with mushrooms? No. N O. All right, so that was season one, episode six of Gushing Over Magical Girls. I have so many different conflicting emotions with that. I don't even know where to begin because it's just jumping from, oh, I think that this is just a cute little moment between Alice and Magenta. Oh, this is sweet too. Okay, she's a baby. Oh, okay, so she wants to be the mother. Oh, okay, so now she needs to pee her pants and she wants to be breast. Ah, just so many things happening in that episode. I don't even know where to begin. All I I do know is that Alice is one fucked up little kid. She's got a lot of problems, but honestly, it's fucking hilarious. So I'm having a great time with this show. I hope that you guys are as well. All right, we are back again with another video. And today we are checking out Gushing Over Magical Girls Season 1, Episode 7. Lots of craziness has been happening. We finally have both sides. We have the three magical girls. We have the three evil girls. And we even had a little bit of a follow episode with a uh, uh, mommy uh, baby situation that I, I can't even begin to go into. All I have to say is that that little girl has the most overpowered ability of anyone on the entire show. Really interested to see what's going to happen in this. See if we're going to have any more fights. See if we're going to have any more plot progression. See if we're going to figure out who is who in real life. A lot of different things. Once again, we're shooting for another like goal. We're shooting for 300 likes within the first week of the video going live. I think we can hit it. Thank you all so much for the love and support you've been showing over here on these videos. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Turn on those post notifications so you get notified every single time a video goes live. Check out the Patreon if you want the full uncut, uncensored reaction to this show because if you know this show, you know how crazy it gets. And let's just hop right into it. Who the hell is this? Is this like the reject version of Sailor Moon? Oh. So there there are more magical girls. Got it. Oh, she was so cute. You've always been into them getting hurt? Why didn't you explain that to us at the beginning? Kawaii! You with the sad eyes. The Trace Magia gets taken down by literally like one girl each time. Ladylike? Have you been watching the same anime that I have? Yeah, there you go. That's more like it. Who also happens to be into some freaky shit. Exhibit A! She's having too much fun. See? She's kinky. She's not even happy about it. Somebody's gotta call her out on it. <laughs> God, I love it when she throws a tantrum. Oh, so you mean some shit's gonna go down this weekend while you're away. Is that a robot? Alice, why are you leaving? Oh, look at little Alice. Literally every time she gets into a fight, she gets tuckered out. I'm having a young life crisis. Yeah, because you're too busy wanting to get tickled. Oh. Ew. That thing is frightening. And she was never heard from again. I would be too. Hey, Magenta! So this is how they met, nice. So I guess Magenta's the only one we don't know yet. How they all met, I guess? And all that jazz. <gasps> okay. I don't know, she's still special now. She's just specially kinky. Does it make sense? I don't know if it does. It, th what the, how did we get here? What am I watching? Is she drooling? I don't even know. Change of pace. Where the fuck is she gonna go? Oh, is she gonna end up where they end up going on this little vacation? Who are those magical girls behind them? Pushed her so far into 
liking it? And to also stop fondling things. This is so funny that like, they do not recognize each other in public, but they always end up finding each other in public, not knowing who the other person is. Don't cut in line. Oh, poor girl. Damn. Yeah, get, bitch. It's kind of rather ironic because, you know, I kick your all's ass every week, but y'all don't know that. What the? Is this like a manga paradise? What the fuck? Oh, this is really trippy and meta. She's like, isn't this supposed to already be on me? <laughs> God damn it. Can you stop drooling? How do you have this much cash? Where are you getting your money? Man, she must have rich parents. Oh, episodes. Oh, okay. Is she part of the old Trace Magi, I guess? How does Atena keep moving from location to location? One of this. One of that. And on the ass. Oh, I wanted to see a blast hole through there. What the fuck? It's just kind of like got light bulbed to death. Fair. Is she going to pick a fight on her own? Oh, that that is that is not going to go well. I mean, it's only fair. <laughs> it's not like I have much of a choice. What the fuck? To me, that seems like you're trying to do something freaky. I mean, where do you want to stick it? <laughs> Too late. Nice. So far, so good. Oh, no. No, no, no. God damn it. Are you sure about that? And also, who uses scissors as an attack? Oh, seems like we've got a little bit of an Uno reverse card about to happen. Uh, uh-oh. What the fuck just happened? Oh, oh. Todoroki, when the fuck did you get in here? No way. What? How did we get there? How did you get trapped? Okay, there's a line, and we're about to cross right over it. What is that face? What's happening to her heart? Is she about to... Oh no. I mean, that's a fucking shot right there. Jesus Christ. With the boot? God damn! Oh no. Don't do it. Don't do it. What the fuck? What am I watching? She doesn't even like it anymore. Literally said, you peasant. Whoa! What the fuck? So she's in the edging camp, but doesn't want her to go to completion. She's like, I don't even want you anymore. Oh no, you did. You really did. What's up, bitch? Ah, you're such a little fun little fucker. Oh, who are these down here? Hold up! Oh, fuck. You know what I say about people with the sharp teeth? They're trouble. The one on the left. The one on the left. God damn. All right, so that was episode seven of season one of Gushing Over Magical Girls. I'll be honest, the first half of the episode, I was a little bit concerned. It was just kind of seeming slow. We weren't really doing much. Just a little bit of the backstory of Azur, which was interesting, but I was kind of curious where we were going to go with it. And by the end of it, good God, so much happened. We had the fight between Azur and Magia Bazer. Obviously, Azur got her ass beat and Magia Bazer basically was just ready to put the final nail in the coffin. But then Azur started to literally turn over to the evil side which is such a good twist because we've seen her been struggling with this the entire time and that that point magic blazer loses all interest in her only wants her to believe that she always needs to do good but then still beating her not that she wants to believe in evil after she gets beat very interesting concept and then the final bit we finally get to see that there are more evil girls along the way and we're going to get to see them hopefully maybe next episode the one that we had seen in the trailer intro finally shows up i really want to know more about their backstories i hope that you guys do as well all right we are back 
back again with another video and today we are checking out Gushing Over Magical Girls Season 1 Episode 8. Super excited to keep on going with this. I've been told by you all in the comments this is where the plot begins. This is where things start to thicken. We had the big moment where Azur basically said that she wanted to be a part of the evil side for a second and then Magic Abazer basically said I'm done with you. I don't want you. I don't need you. I only want you if you're going to be the good thing so I can destroy you. Super excited to see where that's going to go and also super excited to see all the new evil villain characters that we got introduced right at the end of the episode it seems like there's whole committee super villain doctor doom layer of nonsense going on want to know each and everything about all of those so much to unpack so much to see moving forward once again we're shooting for another like goal shooting for 300 likes in the first week that the video goes live i think we can do it also leave a comment down below as to what's your favorite moment from gushing over magical girls and make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications so you get notified every single time a new video goes live and also check me out on my patreon if you want the full uncut uncensored version of these episodes because if you know this show you know that there's a lot that goes into it that we can't show over here on youtube so head on over there it's a great great time also check me out at twitch if you want to watch me react to these shows live it's a good good time head on over there and let's just hop right into it what is happening in the back kiwi what is happening oh are we going to meet the big baddies let's go i was hoping that we'd go right back into that here comes the Lord Squad. Oh, we definitely getting the baddies today. Let's go. Oh, she's going to conveniently leave out the fact of what she said to Magia Bazer in the last episode, isn't she? Oh, oh, okay. Let her cook. Let her cook. You're leaving out some real key details here, sweetheart. I'm just gonna be frank with you. You're kind of towing a line. That definitely falls under the category of I wasn't lying, but I wasn't telling the full truth either. Who is it? I want to see. Hey, we got them all here, baby. Let's go. I want to know about you. I want to know about you. Wait, are you like that that monk priest character from Demon Slayer? You know, the one that's always like this and he's crying every time because of fighting. Oh, she gigant, all right. She gigant in all the right areas. It's like a witch hunt, except it's witches hunting witches. And how'd I do? Give me a grade. Oh, tell me more. Step on me right here. I mean, she makes a good point. A little bit. A little bit of one. Or should I say, how many magical girls have you all beaten to this point? Mom and dad are about to fight. Pretty fair assumption there, Kiwi. Oh, she's just stating the facts. You're gonna pull that card? Staying true to the character. That's what I like to see, Magia. Look at these three little goofballs. They're just in it for the fun of it. Oh, we get to see her fight? <gasps> I can't wait. Let's go. What can she- What can she do? I give up. Fake me. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. And I'm about to a lot more. <laughs> Come on, Narrow Alice. Let's see what you can do. It wasn't like you really tried to get out of the way, though. Yeah, I'm gonna bet that didn't even... T what the fuck? She can get even bigger! That's why they call her Gigant. Oh, fuck. Oh, glory, what a wonderful way to die. Oh, Glory, what a wonderful way to die. <laughs> oh, Glory, what a wonderful way to die. Just be happy. That's the way it's going to go. Last resort. Let's get it going, Kiwi. It's what we call a kamikaze. Good God. Just give them time. Give them time to cook. They'll come back and they'll get the best of you all. Don't you worry. Oh, Bazer, why you do that? W Bazer in the chat. 
She still only cares about them. God damn. Now, why in the world are you smiling right now? Okay, I think one of those screws got a little bit loose. That got really fucking loose. So you're not about world domination, but you are about fighting the baddies. I respect the hustle. What can you do? Just play music? Watch where you step in. No, not at all. Kiwi, why are you still freaking out? Oh, that's why she did that. Yeah, just because she wanted them to be safe. Or know the true identities. I didn't even think about that either. Oh, oh, fuck. She is pissed. She's like, I like to mess with them, but it's only to have fun for my sake, not to kill them. Spoken like a true otaku. <laughs> when is it that narrow Alice is helping you out, Kiwi? What you got, Alice? What's the present idea? I like that they cut to that every single time. Just like the first thing you see is just this. Oh, oh fuck. Oh God, what did you just do? What did you just do? No, poor Nero Alice, no. Speed's a strong word, but I could blow you to smithereens. How many guns did you end up with? You best be dodging and getting out the way. Nero Alice for the win. That's what you want is to be a pop idol? You're doing all this to be an idol? I'm sure there were better ways to do this. Sounds like we got an intro music. Is this supposed to be good? This is what she's going for? Yeah, that's me right now. <laughs> that's how I wish I could act at concerts sometimes. Damn, you didn't have to come for her throat, though. God damn. Oh, boy. Imagine this defeats her. It's just a shame and embarrassment. No, just feed off of that. Just keep telling her she's trash. Whoa! Okay, calm down. You're great. You're wonderful. Shut the fuck up. Okay, but now you're starting to sound more like an idol. Oh, that was ingenious. She put flares inside of the dolls? Well, you should have thought of that before you tried to do a pop performance. <laughs> She's so cute, pouty. Oh, look at the little softy kiwi going on right now. Stop it. Best start learning. Well, there's not much to strip. For the culture? Yep, okay. Really for the culture? Sure. So you're a masochist, right? And you all are just sitting here letting this happen. That face and that shot just does not pair together. <laughs> all right, so that was Gushing Over Magical Girls Season 1, Episode 8. Exactly what I wanted to happen did happen. We got the big reveals of all the big baddies that they're going to be going up against. And we finally got to see my girl, Gigant. Gigant, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I absolutely love seeing her fight. Cool to see that she also has a power like the blonde girl from Chain Soldier. Also a really cool show as I'm watching exclusively over on Patreon. It's a fun time over there. But man, I am loving everything to do with this show. I can't wait to see now that we figured out that Maggie is not going to join up with them. She hates the fact that they're hunting down magical girls. She likes fighting magical girls, but she doesn't want to kill them. It's a very interesting kind of sentiment. So I'm really looking forward to see how they're going to progress moving forward. Are they going to keep fighting the new bad girls? Or are they going to have to fight the magical girls at some point? Are they going to team up with the magical girls to fight the bad people? I don't know. I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. All right, we are back again with another episode of Gushing Over Magical Girls, and we are checking out season one, episode nine. We just had the introduction to all of the evil characters that we have beside Magia Beja and the crew.
crew, but these are the like even more evil, evil persons. So I'm really interested to see all of them. We've got my homegirl Gigant. Oh my good God, she's incredible. Can't wait to find out more about this Pop Idol character. This one is called Gushing Over Pop Idol. So I'm assuming we're gonna be dealing with her more. We had her towards the end of the last episode battling with Kiwi. Kiwi got away with Nero Alice and there's a lot of different things happening. Really interested to see how that's gonna tie into all the magical girls. Is Magia Baser gonna still fight all of them? There's a lot of questions open-ended. Once again, another massive shout out to you all for showing so much love and support over here on the channel. Leave a like on the video. We're shooting for 300 likes again this week. I know we can do it. And also make sure that you subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you get notified every single time a new video goes live. Leave a comment down below as to who's your favorite character from Gushing Over Magical Girls. I would love to read all of those down below. Also check me out on my Patreon if you want the full, uncut, uncensored, unedited reaction to these because if you know this show, you know that a lot of it has to be x made out and it's gonna be thrown over there. So head on over there, it's a good, good time and let's just hop right into this. Holy moly, how was what happening? Wait, what? Oh, they have a, oh, they're doing their training thing. Okay, I was so confused for a second there. Nah, just let them fight. That's what I would have said too. Honestly, I think Sulphur's the, the brains of this operations at this point. Both Magenta and Azur, they kind of like push to the sidelines a little bit with their uh, depravities. Like that. Like that! I think everything gets her worked up. She just needs to have, no. <laughs> but she has her sword. Oh, so she doesn't have her official weapon yet. Oh, okay. What would her weapon be? Cuffs? Can you wear a bathing suit that covers more than just your nipples? Isn't that what every Japanese pop idol says? She thinks fondly of herself, huh? You don't have as much up here as you do down here. That's what it means. I think it's your talent that's gonna get in the way of your rise to stardom, but that's just me. Oh, look at Kiwi! Oh, she's so cute! Got her a Gundam? Yeah, no, not at all. Hey, whoa, magic. Okay, calm down. When you turn these little switches and you start saying shit like this, we start to freak the fuck out. Don't just go along with her. <laughs> yeah, time to fuck some shit up. Let's go, baby. She actually got a crowd? All right, how many of you in the audience are brainwashed? That's what I'm saying. There's no way there's that many people there wanting to hear her sing. I don't believe that. Have you heard her? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, do you see the, the lines coming down? They're definitely brainwashed. <laughs> Me. I knew you all were brainwashed, two for two. You weren't supposed to tell them that. Oh, I'm so scared, I'm shaking in my boots. What in the fuck is your power? What is the shark girl's power? What can she do? Oh. In this show, that is not a good combo. We're not even paying attention to you. Uh, whoa, where did those scissors come from? No, I'm not okay. I just got fondled. What is happening? Oh no, she's having to attack her. Oh no, the mental scarring about to happen. Oh, she uses the shadows against them. That is creepy as shit, but I love it. Damn, this is the first time they've ever actually gotten their asses kicked. 
Okay, Singy McGee over here has no chance, but this one, Labor Loom? Fuck. She's speaking facts. Okay, Nadja, I need you to step it the fuck up and kick their ass, please. And also, pull your damn pants up. Nice, where does she slap? The roots? Oh, yeah, you kind of Uno reverse that there. Long enough to kick your ass. I hope. Ooh! Damn, I didn't know you had that sort of beat. Nice, that's the second time they did that. Let's go, baby. Oh, is she analysis world now? <laughs> Welcome to hell, bitch. <laughs> Welcome to the dollhouse! Now that is a damn shot. Uh oh, she started to draw. Kiwi, bring her back. Bring her back. Reel her back in. You might hop to it. This is what you get! You brought this fight on yourselves! Well, I know you don't care because you basically are just showing your nipples. That's the second time in two episodes. <laughs> Everybody get the photos out. Get the cameras. Yeah, I don't think an idol will do well if their nudes are everywhere. She's not about to make her sing buck naked. Are we about to see Jingle 5000? Kiwi, you're not helping. Oh, she is. <laughs> Label loom, what did you do? What did you do? Yeah, admit your faults. True sucks, don't it, sweetheart? It means that she cares about your teeny tiny terrible little ego. Ugh. Yeah, I'm too stunned to tell you how terrible it is. When your own mother doesn't even want to support you, god damn! Magia Baser, can you can you just just take this, pull up your pants? Good lord! <laughs> Keep performing! Keep going! They're just staring. That's that's all there is. That's all the idol industry is. Why does this sound better? Why is her Getting naked is what's going to help her perform better. There's no shot she's going to be better naked. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. God damn! Was that, was that what I think that was? You get one of these. That was great. You totally ruined your image, but that was great. So worked up. Hey, 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 Baser, Baser, calm down! <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. What's the point in hiding? Oh, that's right, she did. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Oh, fuck! Not the titty twister! No! Oh, those poor nipples! No, don't do that! No! No! They did not just do the titty twister 5000. My summer camp days will never be the same. Oh, now they know their secret identity? Oh, okay. Wait, are they on their side now? Wait, what? They joined the crew? Oh my god, Magia, pull up your pants! Yeah, let's go! Add him to the crew! Add him to the crew! Yeah! Alright, so that was Gushing Over Magical Girls Season 1, Episode 9, at 
absolutely insane episode. Basically had an entire fight episode, which we haven't seen up until this point. And normally break it up into two parts or kind of moving back and forth. But the fact that we actually saw Magia Bazer, Kiwi, and well, not really Nero Alice, but those two get their asses kicked. That's a new one for one. We've been introduced to Little Bloom's powers. We now know the full extent to Loco Musica's powers. And oh my good God, that was just such a good episode. I had such a good time with that. I hope that you guys did as well. I can't believe that we're now gonna have Loco Musica a part of the team. We're gonna have Labor Bloom a part of the team. Such a good addition to the Gushing Over Magical Girls crew. I'm super excited to see where this is gonna head from here on out. I don't know if they're gonna collect more of them. I hope that my girl Gigant somehow comes over to the side because I mean, you, you know, you know, that's all I'm gonna say. All right, we are back again with another video and today we are checking out Gushing Over Magical Girls season one, episode 10. Super excited to be hopping back into this. Last episode, we had a couple of new girls join the group. We had Local Musica and we had Labor join the group. So I'm really excited to see how they're gonna pair with everybody now that they're officially on our good evil side of things because they're still an evil side and they're still the magical girls. I don't know how that's all gonna work out, but I'm super excited to find out with you all. You all are saying that the series is about to just kick up into another notch over the last few episodes of season one. I'm super excited to see that. Also, as you can see, I'm getting ready to move. That's why all this stuff is bare behind me, but we will be back with a new setup next week. Super excited. It'll look probably the same to you all, but it'll be seven hours difference for me. Before we head into this, make sure that you leave a like on the video. We're shooting for 300 likes again this week. I think we can hit it absolutely. And also leave a comment down below as to who's your new favorite girl out of all the different options for the magical girls. Still, I'm gonna have to go with my girl Gigant, but I wanna read all of your alls down there below. Also subscribe to the channel, hit that post notification bell so you get notified every single time a new video goes live. And if you know this show and you wanna check out the full uncut, uncensored, unedited reaction, then head on over to patreon.com slash movies in depth where you can see this and all the other anime and TV shows covered on this channel. It's a good time. Head on over there. And also don't forget to check me out on my Twitch where I stream anime live and also play games with my friends. It's a really, really good time. And let's just hop right into this. Oh, we're getting the backstory of the two new girls? Yeah, let's go, baby. So these powers literally took on some of their fears too because... She turned into a shadow and a shark, kind of both. Oh, they were friends since they were kids? Oh, that's adorable shit. She was calling her out back then? I love it. Those are your real friends. Are you assuming that we want to join the fan club or? Okay, that might be fair, but still. And how do we get more stars? Is this kind of like the lime thing in Mashal? <laughs> Seems like you two are kind of like a package deal, a good like tag team in these fights. It wouldn't be gushing over magical girls if we didn't have these transformations to kick this off. Uh, Eto? Eto? Uh, Bezer, I thought they were on our side. What do you mean, satisfy? Why is there a bed? Aw, look at that. She's being nice and sweet. She didn't want Alice to see this. A, a lot. In what way? <laughs> that is every Gundam fan ever. Oh, is Kiwi about to get an upgrade? Come on, let's make her stronger. Oh, damn. You, you know what it means. You know what it means. How? Emotional pain still counts as regular pain. Yes. Of course they were all fake, but she was doing it because she loves you and she supports you ever since she was a little kid and still called you trash. <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Maybe a little bit. Oh, you just pissed her off. The girl literally signed a deal with the devil. Oh, she only joined because she wanted to protect her. No. Aw, why is this getting wholesome? This isn't the show I signed up for. 
Bitch! You better be apologizing to her. Yeah, fuck that. That's basically what she's saying, but... Uh. Baser, get that look off your face. Good. Good. This is so weird that you're just watching all this happen, Baser. Baser! <laughs> Bickering friendship doesn't always mean that they want to fuck. Well, that didn't take long. That did not take long. Sticks out her tongue. Okay, she said kiss. She did not say tongue. Hold the fuck on. And the, and the drool. Oh, they, they hot and bothered. Big time. I mean, I'm not surprised, but did you not have any sort of heart? Huh? What are you gonna have them do? I knew there was a reason you put a bed in there. I knew it. I caught it from the start. She's literally the doll master. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Is this a show anymore? What am I watching? Well, none of this is making it to YouTube. Okay, manga readers out there, H how close are we right now? Did this happen? Did, 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 did this happen? I'm surprised you're not freaking out, Baser. This is what you've always wanted. What is that shot? First of all, ouch. Second of all, we saw this coming. Don't worry about it. Just literally don't worry about it. The time will come. Exhibit A through C. What in the fu- She's leaky! Wild. Just, just wild. I, I, I think it's not gonna go further. And that we've let, we've had our first sex scene. We've had, we've had, we've had, we've had our first sex scene. Not a, a maybe, not a, a possible, an actual sex scene. Oh, where's my girl Gagant? Oh my God, Mama Sita, how we doing? You know that she steps on people. <gasps> Woo! Let's go. We are digging around today. Good. Saw something good, huh? Hey, you've been encouraging them. Why don't you just go encourage yourself with Kiwi? Hey, let's go, baby. Start up the fight. Oh, you all are still training? So even though it's cracked, does that mean that she can still... I mean, obviously she's transforming, but that has no impact on her abilities. We still gotta get her weapon. You just turned her into Team Rocket. Hey, about time you all joined the fight. It's almost like they're a bunch of putties from Power Rangers. She's like, perfect, exactly my skill level. So you're saying we have to kill Lord for these things to die? What is that blob monster? Oh no, oh no, oh no. The uh, the played with are about to get played. Ah, uh, get, when did you get here? When did you get so big? <laughs> oh, trust me, go ahead, step. Please. Wait, I prefer a foot, but. Do you got this? I kinda don't think you do. We just established that you're the weakest out of the characters. Sure, I owe you that much. Mm, but that also makes me seem like Kiwi's gonna die. Oh my god, it's like me in a Call of Duty lobby. Eee, damn. Wait, Kiwi, is that all it took? One throw? Perfect. Just where I wanted to be. Come on, Kiwi, we need you to get an upgrade here. It's time! When did that fucking happen? Oh shit, upgrade time, bitch! Oh, she's an actual fucking leopard! That's dope! Oh, the furry community is gonna have a field day with this, but that's dope! 
Damn, no, they're gonna end it, fuck! All right, so that was episode 10 of season one of Gushing Over Magical Girls. Absolutely amazing episode. A little bit weird moments. We're not gonna talk about it. We had an actual you know what scene. It, 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 it is what it is. But we did get to see local Musica and Labor Bloom actually get closer back to their old roots as friends and uh, even a little bit closer than that. But also we got the start of the big, big battle of what I'm assuming is going to end off season one between Lord Gigant and all of the Utena girls. I'm just really excited to see how that's gonna play out. And we also got the big transformation, my girl Kiwi finally coming through and she gets her leopard transformation. Didn't know that was gonna happen. Makes sense now since we were always calling her leopard that she would actually turn into a fucking leopard. I'm super excited to see what her powers are gonna be now. Super excited to see how she's gonna match up against my other home girl Gigant. It's like my two best girls fighting each other. I'm loving every second of it. But we're also gonna get to see Magia and Bazer take on Lord next episode. So I wanna see what Lord's powers are like because we don't really know outside of the putty creations so that'll be interesting to see all right we are back again with another video and today we are checking out gushing over magical girls season one episode 11 this video dropped quite a bit later than normal i'm normally recording these in the mid-afternoon and then dropping them later but it didn't drop until nighttime so i'm sorry if this comes out late but i'm super excited to be getting into this i hope that you guys are excited as well we finally got the two new girls onto our team they're battling alongside of us the final battle is about to begin we've got the big upgrade from Kiwi and turning into the actual leopard. It makes sense now why her name was actually that. So I'm interested to see that fight between her and our sister Gigant. I'm hoping that she joins our side as well. And we've just got the big baddie and that's all that we have facing off against them. But I'm also hoping everybody could come to the same side, the right side of justice. And they all go after the magical girls just to play with them, just to have fun with them, but to not actually try to, you know, kill them as they were trying to do in the past. But I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Before we hop into this, leave a like on the video. We're shooting for 300 likes on the video. I think that we can hit it and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like this content and hit that post notification bell so you get notified every single time a new video goes live leave a comment down below as to what's your favorite moment from the series so far i want to read through all those reply to as many of them as i can and also if you want the full uncut uncensored unedited reaction because if you know this show you already know head on over to my patreon at patreon.com slash movies in depth and besides all that Let's just hop right into this. Oh shit, she's entering the castle, baby. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. I got my teammates. They're just back in the normal realm. Why do you have a whip? Why do you have a whip that's just like her riding crop? Come on, we got that upgrade, baby. <laughs> her potty mouth never gets fucking old. I'm so torn though. This is my two favorite characters. What the fuck are they doing to me? She didn't even know about it until now. Woo! Damn, how strong is she now? Is she a three star or four star at this point? Oh, damn. I think it's pretty fucking cool. Is she about to throw up? Throw up blood? Oh, can her body not handle it? Okay, that makes more sense. Honestly, you know what? That's kind of a more legitimacy to a power fantasy sort of thing. I'm smelling some cap. <laughs> That's all she cares about? <laughs> Honestly, I respect the damn hustle. Don't worry about it. She's just high on horny. God damn, calm down a little bit, Kiwi. Wait, what happens when she... Reverberate's already a bad power. I guess nothing. What'd she just slap? Is that a Tyrannosaurus Boogerex? When the Tormentor becomes the Tormented. You know what's funny is that she loves tormenting other people, but she hates it when it happens to her. You are just pushing your body way past its limits. Ooh, damn! Again, that was kind of badass, but why? We kind of knew that, but why? Does a big one of these. That's a pleasure. <laughs> what the fuck? Stuck by her own boobs. 
She waited for the structural integrity. Oh, that's actually smart. She was shooting around it. Do you really need to say it like that? Fuck. <laughs> I would do it. Four. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Sister, I love you, but hurry the fuck up. Now that's like some real tears. <laughs> that's gonna be the anthem for every blue balled anime fan for the rest of life. <laughs> Come on, Nero Alice, you got this. Eat. Uh oh. Nap time. <laughs> Wait, why did your all's transformations go too? No shot, they're coming to help. Oh, well, now they're transformed back, so they're not gonna know. Yep, civilians. That's it. That's all that we are. Absolutely it. <laughs> Talk about convenient. I hope that we get to see a Zerv's weapon. Yeah, come on, let's see it. Come on, you got this. Step up to the plate. What's the weapon? Now that's a fucking upgrade. She was the weakest to the strongest? What the fuck is that thing? God damn. I don't know shit. You're gonna whip me harder? Okay, I'm sorry. You're gonna step on me harder. <laughs> Couldn't even care. <laughs> you mean nothing could get you going? She needs a reason to get excited. This fucking girl. Oh my god. What the fuck is she doing? Is she doing this for the magical girls? Yep, she's doing it for the magical girls. I knew it. The irony. She loves torturing the thing that she loves. Ah! Don't ask questions. Get ready to submit. Oh, we got an upgrade, bitch. Did that thing get longer? Wait, did her boobs get... Not that I was looking. One, two, three, four, five, five, five stars? Whoa, 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 how many fucking stars is that? Why is she a little kid now? How many fucking stars is on her face? Yeah, I don't think she cares. But it's not gonna be anytime soon. Oh, damn. She doesn't need it. She doesn't need it. What do you mean by everything? Baser? Baser? Calm the horniness down about 15%. Lord and Norm? She's into her home filter? She's more into finding a child? Oh, someone she could look down on. That makes more sense. Still very fucked up, but still. Calm it down, Kiwi. Oh boy. Yeah, we knew where this was going. She's done that way too many times. Oh shit. That's just the start. Get ready for pain. The kind that you're losing. <laughs> you're already done, deal. <laughs> I mean, you were meant to get your ass rolled. Yeah, Nero Alice is me. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Oh, you're gonna apologize. Or your ass is gonna be grass. What a fucking transformation for this bitch. Is he down to one star too? Now who's the master? Is she the head of everyone now? Let's go, Magia. Gateway, what the fuck? Oh, where the hell do you think you're going? 
You're the most sociopathic character of them all. Oh, that's even sadder. Damn! She thought she was the queen, but she was just a pawn all along. Oh my god. What the fuck did she do? Did she eat her? Did she fucking eat her? Gagan was on this Vanel side all along? Where is she? What the fuck? I knew you were a creepy little fuck! Uh, I think that's her right there. Like what? <laughs> We know what you all want to. Clean you up first. Yeah! Oh, I'm a Norvita. Let's go, baby! Hey! All right, so that was episode 11 of Gushing Over Magical Girls. Another amazing, incredible episode. Huge plot points that were there. We found out that the little, little turd muffin creature, Vanilla, or whatever its name is, I can't even remember at this point, has been calling the shots behind the scenes this entire time, has been in charge of Gigant, has been basically running the show and has been creating all of these different storylines, gave the original Lord her powers that we now have Magia Bazer that is way stronger than her. She has like six or seven or eight or nine or so many different stars. It's absolutely insane. We also saw the big reveal of Kiwi being able to outsmart Gigant and be able to fight her way through it all. But then the magical girls come in and Azura has had a hell of an upgrade that I'm sure we're gonna see by the end of season one in its full entirety. But man, I'm loving what I'm seeing from that so far. Now we have Magia Bazer being the full Supreme commander of the entire group which is another amazing plot point so many twists and turns i'm loving this show i hope that you guys are too all right we are back again with another video and today we are checking out season one episode 12 of gushing over magical girls i'm super excited to be back into this we've got one more episode left after this one so i'm super excited for that one as well i really don't know where we're gonna go for this one because we had the big final battle the last one we had the reveal that the little turd muffin character has actually been calling the shots with gigant behind the scenes this entire time don't know if that's ever gonna get exposed but i can't wait to find out now we've got magia and potentially kiwi heading over to a love hotel so i want to see what's gonna happen there i hope that you guys are excited before we hop into it leave a like on the video we're shooting for 300 likes again make sure that you subscribe to the channel turn on those post notifications so you get notified every single time a new video goes live and make sure you head on over to my patreon if you want the full uncut unlinked uncensored video because if you know this show then you already know half the stuff has to go over there so head on over there it's a good good time and let's just hop right into this Golems? What the fuck are these golems? I just want to know more about Azur's power. That's all I want to know. The new crew! Look at this! Admiral of aspiring idol activities. What's it gonna say? Captain of Magic Fairy Love. <laughs> What's up, Titty? Kiwi! Kiwi, why, why, are you, why are you doing this? Stop. Calm down. Kiwi, stop grabbing titty. Probably not. <laughs> Nero Alice is like, oh, we taking a nap? Just scooch right over. <laughs> now you feel bad about that whole situation? <laughs> Calm down just like five seconds. She's going to turn into Captain Hook, where he would be actually depressed if Pan wasn't around anymore. <laughs> every anime watcher ever to every manga reader ever. Well, let's go fuck it up again! I always feel that way whenever I go to a pointless meeting. I'm like, you guys could have sent this over a text. Those things are adorable. Why haven't we seen those up until now? Oh, just trying to help what I destroyed. You know, no big deal. What the fuck? Already? You've done more than that and you know it. Don't be one of those people. Wash the hand. Oh my God, stop it. The amount of copium she huffs every single day when she wakes up. 
Stop it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Utena! How did we get here? H how does this happen? This is your fam. I, 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 don't, I don't even have words. I don't even have words. She's realizing her abuse from earlier is coming back to her. She can't help herself. Not even for a second. Utena! Immediately goes... Oh, ten, nah, what the fuck? You're in public. And you're not doing anything about this? You're, you're okay with this? Huh? Huh? Azura, this is just as much your fault as it is hers. <laughs> oh, Tenet, you're drooling. What am I watching? <laughs> you're drooling? Oh, my lord. <laughs> I have secondhand embarrassment for you. If I, I swear to Christ. I swear to Christ, if she realizes Magia Baser is Utena based upon the way her fingers feel? Oh, she already ready to go. How do we go from that to this? Y'all are just gonna have to get used to it. Oh, that's not the only thing I came over for. I'm sure that is not it. <laughs> hey, we get a wholesome moment. Oh, why is it so cute? What are those? Are those girls triplets? Oh, they're triplets and your sister. Love it. <laughs> yeah, it's the calm before the storm of that ass. Oh, no, 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 Alice! Magical girls, it's time to fight! Uh, that is someone looking to play with a new toy. <laughs> Technically, it's a giant dinosaur. They can basically look at this as the IRL version of Jurassic Park. It's like, I missed you guys, come on! What's it gonna do? Oh, it made her bigger! They're going full Power Rangers! Oh, that's dope! Oh, but the upskirt. Oh, oh, of course. Of course they wouldn't just let us have this Power Rangers moment. I'm sorry, Bazer, you should be loving this. Technically, that's her ass. <laughs> Perverted mind of Ant-Man has come to fruition. <laughs> oh. Embarrass the hell out of you. You see Nero Owls up there, she's just smiling. She's like, I really don't care what happens. Do you just, did you, wait, did you, yeah, did you just hear what you just said? The best battlefield of all time. <laughs> What are you cra- Utena! I feel bad for her. I honestly feel bad for her. You're both blushing. Where are you all sitting? <laughs> I mean, the whole world's already seeing everything. They were having the times of their lives. Oh, that's the important part. Still gushing over Magical Girls. What a perfect final title. All right, so that was episode 12 of season one of Gushing Over Magical Girls. We have one more episode left. What a perfect title too for the final episode. Still gushing over Magical Girls. I absolutely love it. Once again, they proved me wrong. I think it's not gonna get any crazier. I think that they're not gonna try to one-up each other once again. And here we freaking go. They're literally hanging from nipples like monkeys on a tree. I don't know what to tell you all at this point. Don't even know, begin to be able to explain my thoughts during the uh, Azur Baser scene where they were in real life, but she was still Azur and um, she went for the pot of gold and she found the pot of gold. 
I don't know how they're gonna end this season off, but I'm assuming it'll probably be introducing a new baddie because we've got the girls kind of in a good spot. We got the Trace Maggi in a good spot. There's gotta be some sort of new threat that comes in to kind of shake things up as we move forward. All right, we are back again with another video. And today we are checking out season one, episode 13 of Gushing Over Magical Girls titled Still Gushing Over Magical Girls. I just think this is gonna be a fun wrap up episode. I bet you it's just gonna be a bunch of fan service, which you know what, I'm never gonna complain about, but but I'm really excited to see how the season's gonna wrap up. Maybe we're gonna get introduced to a new bad villain that's gonna be the big issue for season two if we're able to get a season two. Maybe we're gonna see a little battle between the Magical Girls and the updated crew underneath Magia Bazer. I'm not sure. I hope that you guys are excited. This has been a hell of a journey over here. But before we head into it, make sure that you leave a like on the video. Today, we're gonna shoot for 500 likes. I think that we can do it. Please, please, please smack up that like button and hit that subscribe button so you get notified every single time a new video goes live. We're gonna be right Right back at it again next season with a bunch of new shows. I will be dropping a video covering all the shows that I'll be watching pretty soon. So make sure that you stay notified so you can find out what that schedule is going to be like. And also, if you want the full, uncut, uncensored reaction to all of season one of Gushing Over Magical Girls, head on over to patreon.com slash movies in depth. It's a good, good time. There's also Patreon exclusives like Chain Soldier, Mashal Season 2, That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, Freer and Beyond Journey Sin, and so much more. So head on over there. I love y'all, and let's just hop right into this. What did I just say? What did I literally just say? Here we go. Can't have degeneracy without caffeine. Everybody knows that. Wait, hotel finish? Oh, I was about to say, we should- Whoa, what the fuck is that? Might as well not wear anything. I mean, it's not as bad as that. Come on, at least there's more coverage than just literally a line. Of course, of course they're there the exact same day that they are. When am I gonna see Azur's new power? That's all I wanna know. <laughs> Kiwi's fucking face. <laughs> it's like, bitch. <laughs> Kiwi, calm down. I know you don't like them, but you don't even know why you don't like them. <laughs> You're not helping things so far. <laughs> the veins in your face say it all. <laughs> you two are my favorite. I mean, perfect at trying to kill each other. Out of context. No, not gonna go there. Oh boy. Oh boy, here's how it starts. What are you looking at? Huh? Oh, you remembering things? Mm, mm hmm mm hmm I know. We all know. Are they gonna finally put two and two together? Yeah, uh, you could say that. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> if she says herself, I swear to Christ. <laughs> The irony is absolutely too fucking real. Not that I would know anything, because I'm just a fan. <laughs> oh, wait, how did we end up in that scenario where you were dragging her? <laughs> how did you end up with an octopus on your head? It's my favorite thing, annoying drunk people. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you transform for this, Kiwi? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about anything. It wouldn't be a beach trip if we didn't fight on the beach. My favorite part is that the octopus just stayed there the whole time. The whole crew! Let's go, baby! Five on three! Don't think about it like that. What is that? Oh, okay. You were just transforming. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I knew that octopus was there for a reason! No time, no see? <laughs> Wait a second, why are you going after your own teammates too? What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> She's not even trying to deny it. 
Wait, octopus is your weakness? Okay, well, none of this is making on to YouTube. What the fuck? That is demonic. You are literally eating her tears. And that's not a metaphor. Wait, is there? Yes, finally, I get to see her power. Let's get it, baby. Come on, this is the rematch we've been waiting for. Oh, cue in that intro B. What the? All right, cue back in. Oh, this is gonna be hype as shit. Oh, we're having the full on transformation again. You know you're gonna make her go feral, right? Like that. Damn, a new upgrade. Wow, I like the outfit. I dig it. That's cool. Uh, you know that Bazer's about to lose her goddamn mind. <laughs> She's just smiling. <laughs> oh, a new beat too? What is the thing floating above you? That's new. Oh. Oh. Where did it go? Does she like absorb attacks now? What is she using love for? There's no love in this show. I mean, you're still bit. No, I'm, uh, never mind. Why? Are they basically on equal footing now? She might even be more powerful than Bazer at the moment. Just like that? She is badass. Yeah, and now you two have to catch up to her. What? Whoa, whoa! Where the fuck did that come from? What is happening? <laughs> I mean, we knew that, but still. <laughs> no way she survives that. No fucking shot. She's basically turned into darkness. She's turned into darkness! You've met your match in a goddamn masochist. Is she redirecting that all? Whoa! What the fuck? You had that in your arsenal this whole time? <laughs> Look at Kiwi. <laughs> Team Rocket's blasting off again! I'm impressed. I mean, she's also a little pervert, but still, I'm impressed. <laughs> Are we really gonna have this whole season end without them running off to the love hotel? You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Sunray head ass. <laughs> what the fuck? You shove it up where? God damn, you all got some potty mouths on you. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. I can't wait. And this little fucker. Oh, that's so cool. Ah, I gotta get back to the basics, baby. Hell no! Oh, I love it! The whole crew is here! Damn. All right, so that was Gushing Over Magical Girls season one, episode 13, the end of season one. I had so much fun with that. That was honestly the surprise of the season. Had no intention of ever starting to watch this show before. I saw some people really like it and it started to get some buzz around town. So I was really happy to check it out in the first episode. And I have loved the journey, loved the ride, loved the roller coaster. There is so much potential for a season two. I know that the manga is not too far ahead, but I think most people have said that season two could definitely be pushed out pretty quickly. And then we might be waiting on season three after that. I love this show. I love the attention, the care the the passion that you could honestly see in it by the end of this season like just that beach scene at the end you could just see the fireworks the little things that they didn't have to put a lot of effort into not a lot of animation but they did and they ended it off with a really cool just setup for the beginning of the next season we've got azur basically on the same level of magia baser with her powers we've got all the other girls that can get stronger kiwi has started to develop her new power i just want to see what's going to happen next i hope that you guys are excited for maybe a potential season two once again if you want to see the full uncut link reaction to this, 
and all other episodes of season one of Gushing Over Magical Girls, head on over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash movies in depth, where you can also find Patreon exclusives like Chain Soldier, Mashal Season 2, and that time I got reincarnated as a slime and Freer and Beyond Journey's End. And also I'll be dropping a compilation video of the entire season one reaction. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications so you get notified when that video goes live. Also leave a like on the video. We're shooting for 500 likes and leave a comment down below as to what was your favorite moment from season one of Gushing Over Magical Girls. I'm getting ready to watch all the anime trailers for everything coming out in the spring season. So get ready for that video. I'll be telling you all what my schedule is gonna be on YouTube, Patreon, and what I'm just gonna be watching for myself. So get notified by subscribing and turning on those post notifications. Also, if you wanna see me react to anime live, head on over to my Twitch where I also play games. It's a fun, fun time. Besides all that, I will Gushing Over Magical Girls, you all in another one.